It is the best way to end the day. Put some SP Romney in your ear. And it gets better tonight because Tyler is here on Thursday and Tyler is terrifying. All right. I like that song. We picked that together, right? Oh, let's see. There you go. Tyler, the terrifying. You're, <laughs> there you, I, you're not so scary without the mic. There oh, you go. Okay. All right. That's better. Yes. Good. Now people know. Uh, I, I want people to guess uh, a little bit I like uh, about what I like you do. games. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you're, you're terrifying. Um, to, to be honest, I, I wore my martial arts shirt tonight because you have a rep, uh, yes. a stereotypical rep, right. and you're terrifying. Yes. Okay. And, I, and I didn't even know I was till a few years ago. <laughs> okay. I want the audience uh, to listen for a little bit. Okay. The audience, uh, the audience can listen to a little bit, uh, and Tyler and I are going to talk. And here's the game. All right. As soon as you figure out what Tyler, why Tyler is terrifying, as soon as you figure it out, you call me and we'll give you an imaginary prize. Uh, you you remember those from The Simpsons? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Imaginary. I like, I like yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to give you a whopping good, really cool. We'll put our heads together. We came up with the Black Keys, howling for you. As as the intro music, which I think is great. I think, yeah, we still got some of still it. Still going. Yeah. All right. Well, we like to make the New World Order observation staff happy. <laughs> so we stick around for the endings because they're obsessed with endings. Okay. So, Fair enough. Uh, our, our, our job right now is to name that ending. So it was kind of, it was an abrupt ending. Wouldn't you say? I, just a bump? I, yeah. Okay. Just, just was over. All right. So it shall be entered in the official data keeping uh, files of the New World Order observation staff. And they can't look at me with their big eyes <laughs> from the other side of the glass and go, why didn't you stay for the ending? I did. I went back. So, you know, just touch up and go away. Now, Tyler is terrifying. But uh, let's let's just start with the basics. Uh, you say you didn't. You didn't grow up realizing you were terrifying. No, no, no. You're just a normal person. I, I was terrified a couple times, but I didn't grow up being terrifying. Yeah. You. So, where'd you grow up? I grew up in Sandy. Sandy, Not, Utah, right, right around the corner. Yeah. Nothing terrifying. Yeah. About Sandy. Yes. Okay. So. SOS. Straight out of Sandy. Is straight. What we said. Straight out. Oh, all right. You got a your own acronym. Acronym. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't make it up, but <laughs> so it's all right. Yeah. It's, you, you, you're publicizing it. You okay. probably make it famous okay. as Tyler the Terrifying said. <laughs> <laughs> straight out of Sandy. Yes. Okay. So. Um, you, you, I assume you went to one of the local high schools. Yeah, right? beat diggers, Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, you're a Jordan beat digger. Well, nothing ter. I, I'm sorry to say this, but the my football player friends tell me there's nothing terrifying about the Jordan beat no. diggers as far as the football team. Okay, but uh, maybe they're better than you know than they were. But in, the, in my day, yeah. they were pretty good. Pretty mm-hmm. good before before yeah. the before we turned over into the new millennium. Yeah, they were, they well, were, they the, were good then. At the least. Skyline Eagles uh, had a at, at one point yes. were like football titans. It was the battle between the, the Skyline Eagles and the Olympus. Uh, uh, I don't know the rivalry, the the rivals mascots. <laughs> I can't keep track of them all. But anyway, so what? Your beat digger. What yeah. do you do with a beat digger as a as a uh, what is a beat digger is it got a rake and it runs i i dug beats i know i know digging beats yeah uh you know my parents didn't go to jordan but my my grandparents did (laughs) so my mom's parents and they would get out of school a week in the spring and a week in the fall one to plant the beets and one to harvest them so yeah i used to hoe the sugar beets yeah thin the sugar beets hoe the sugar beets for hours and hours the one cool thing one cool thing it 
you know, the the valley didn't used to have houses all over it. Right. I know that's hard for some people to realize, but there was nothing west of Redwood Road. Yes. But wheat and beet farms. Right. That was pretty much it. And uh, so one day we're out there hoeing the sugar beets. And we look over at the fence of the property next to the field where we're hoeing the sugar beets. And Gene Fulmer, the boxing wow, legend, the yeah. champ. Yes. He's standing there looking <laughs> at us, you know. And so we all like, you know, who cares about beet diggers when the champ is standing there? And we right. race across the field and go, hey, Hey, champ. <laughs> you Didn't know. know what to say? That must well, be what made him so tough. Is well, okay. Planting he w- beet, harvesting beets. But here's a guy, I've, I've watched him fight. He could punch and punch. He could, his face would look like a piece of ground round, you know? Right. And he'd keep punching and punching and punching. And But here I am, I'm standing there next to the fence in the beet digger plot. And and he's he's not terrifying. So, again, out of the beat digger tradition, <laughs> yeah. you know, nothing terrifying about Tyler. Well, and I went there right when they built the new school, because it used to be where Jordan Commons is now. Yeah, and now it's now it's you know a little bit south of that. Yeah, but on the hill. They they had a vote, you know, about changing the mascot. You know, it was like diggers, just shortening it to diggers. Get and, rid of the beats. You know, your traditional huh. kind of tigers or yeah. Hawk or coot, whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah. And the vote was to keep it. So keep it. Yeah, tradition. Keep, keeps the tradition because I, I think their rival was the granite farmers way, yeah. way back. Yeah, that yeah. was it. That was the way it was. Granite's gone. So, yeah. Jordan's holding down the farming. Yeah. <laughs> so many of the old high schools are gone. Yeah. South High is now a Salt Lake Community College campus. Okay, so you've yeah. been around Utah. Yeah. Nothing scary, no. nothing terrifying. No. Tyler is not terrifying. Okay, so at some point in your life, you started to make moves that took you towards being terrifying. Yes. Okay, so you graduated from high school. Yes. Okay, did uh, did. Your desire to be terrifying start when you left high school, or did it kind of pretty, pretty take close. a couple of years? Pretty for close. You to... um, I think I just launched right into it. You know. So where did you go to college? So I went to. Um, I did. I did a couple years at the community college. All right. So like nothing terrifying about the community no, college. No. Just getting the basics out yeah, of the world. Bruins. I mean, bears can be a little terrifying. Yeah, okay. But, you know, but nothing I didn't really see any scary. On campus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I gr- so I graduated from the University of Utah, and then I went. I moved to Virginia. Oh, the state for lovers. Yeah, it nothing is. terrifying. No, about Virginia. Just love and happiness in Virginia. No, it, Virginia is beautiful. Yeah. I've been through it on the train. I've yeah. driven through it. It's green. It's lush. It's humid. Uh, it's uh, so anyway. So you yeah. you lived in Virginia. All right. So anybody guessed? And so far, I mean, we've got a call hanging on. I guess we could see. They probably want to talk. Okay. Let's talk a little politics or something with a caller. Who knows what they want to see? You never know. Let's see. See, But they've been hanging on since uh, Tyler the Terrifying came in. (laughs) Maybe they just instantly guessed why you're terrifying. Uh, If it's my wife, I told her she's Oh, they disappeared. She's not not, not included in the guess. Obviously, they're listening to what I'm saying, and they go, I don't really want to make a guess. Oh, clue. Okay. Is it time for a clue? Well, maybe they're waiting for a clue, so they... Yeah. Okay, I think you're right. I think you've okay. tuned into the audience. They're waiting for a clue. Why? Okay, I will give this out in the way of a clue. I said you had a stereotypical rep. Yes. Now I am terrified. I, I, it's not, I'm not kidding. Yeah. I am terrified. Sure. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm upset. I'm tense. I'm fearful. P- pick. The word, I've got them all. I've got them all. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I will admit this, this stereotypical fear, I've got it in all its shades. Uh, I, 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 I really, really am, honest to goodness, not kidding here, I am terrified. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, you were terrifying to me. Yeah, Tyler. all right. Well, thanks for letting me in the room. I, I, it's like, uh, okay, that that's not a very good clue, is it? No. Oh, okay. All right. Well, okay, I think this is going to start to emerge because personally, I think you started to become terrifying after you graduated from the University of Utah. I think that's when you started your process of becoming yeah. terrifying. Yeah. Okay, so here you are, Utah boy. Moves to Virginia. Yeah. The lovers, the state for lovers. Yes. Uh, were you married? Yes. Oh, thank just, goodness. Just before. Because that yeah. could have been a problem. <laughs> so you and Mrs. Terrifying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> actually, Mrs. Williams. Uh, we don't mind if people actually know, right? No, but, no, okay. no. That's great. Tyler, yeah. Tyler Williams. Yeah, that's okay. That's who yeah, we're throw talking it, throw to. it out there. Okay, so you, you and your new bride. Now, there were, maybe, maybe that caller knew me from jordan yeah. right? but there was another tyler williams at jordan at the same oh, time same in time. the same grade yeah and he's not terrifying no 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 you no. are yeah everybody likes him okay so you go to virginia with your new bride it's like hi honey marry me we're moving to virginia <laughs> yeah in fact the plans were already in place so that could have said, been terrifying said, for her we were getting, when we decided we we're getting married yeah i already had things in I was already signed up and ready to go. So. We're going. So she had to come along. I'm going to terrify. I'm going yeah. to learn to be terrifying. Yes. Did she treat it as an adventure? Yes. Was she supportive? Yeah, absolutely. She was excited to move to Virginia. It's a beautiful place to live. It is. It's just nice. The people are nice. People who grow up in Utah think everywhere else is scary. Right, right. But it's not. Virginia is I, I do have to admit the neighborhood I picked for us to live in wasn't the best. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And we got in about 2 a.m., and it was middle of July, and it was dark. Yeah. But, you know, she, both of us grew up in Utah, and it was so humid. Yes. And uh, and I spent a little time overseas in some humid areas, but um, but, you know, she was like, you know there were big spider crickets jumping around and it was hot so that was a, that was a, a rude awakening but overall great experience but there are also lightning bugs yes right now see that's one thing utahns know nothing about right. in virginia and places like this you go out and sit by a pond on a muggy summer night there's yep. no breeze forget about a breeze it's just muggy you're just looking for some scenery and the illusion that being outdoors cools you off. It stays hot at yes. night. It's very weird. But the lightning bugs. Yeah. They play in all the bushes. And you just sit there. It's like, it's it's so beautiful. Yes. It's just beautiful. Yeah, it is. And even at night when everything's black. Okay, so again, we're back to this nothing scary. You've <laughs> arrived in Virginia. There's nothing scary. It's lightning bugs and big crickets and cicadas and... You know, a, a new set of vermin running around the neighborhood. Your new bride is there. It must have been bliss. You two were alone. Yeah. No family. Starting from just scratch. Just together. Yeah. Oh, that. I oh, Do I envy you that? Do I? You know, the, the, all that well-meaning influence that pours into your life when you, it's like, you can boil it all down to, when are you going to have a baby? <laughs> You know, when are you going to have a baby? <laughs> that, we, that's we a little bit dust. terrifying. We, yeah, 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 yeah. That is a little bit terrifying. Anyway, we're at a break. So nobody, nobody's so far guessing okay. uh, why Tyler is terrifying. Uh, but it is Thursday, and we have a nice alliteration going. So t terrifying Tyler on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, it's just... The triple or, T. Yeah, the triple T. Yeah. So uh, we'll be back to it. Uh, but we do have a break. So right. we're, we're going to go uh, off and listen to a sponsor's message, which is kind of fun in, in its own way. Yes. And we do appreciate sponsors. They uh, make it all possible. So we'll be back. You are listening to the all-new K-Talk Media, 1640 AM. Breaking through the noise of mainstream with live, local, two-way talk. Together, we are the difference. Freedom's Voice Radio with Larry Fries. The independent talk radio program you can count on for unfiltered information. 
No corporate media influence, programmed echo chamber, or directed dialogue. Freedom's Voice Radio, weekdays from 4 to 6 p.m. Peeling off the layers of fake news. This is Charles Osgood. Auto Owners Insurance was founded in 1916, three years before cars had automatic windshield wipers. You wouldn't want to drive a car today without wipers, so you should never drive without auto owners by your side. Let our independent local agents help you with all your auto, home, life, or business insurance needs. Find your agent at autoowners.com. Auto Owners Insurance, 100 years of putting people first. Find your local independent agent at autoowners.com. That's autoowners.com. The cloud. It may sound nebulous, vague, hazy, but the value of cloud computing for your workforce can be very real indeed. That's why thousands of organizations of all types and sizes are deploying in the Kronos Cloud, transforming the way they access workforce management solutions to reduce labor costs, improve workforce productivity, and minimize compliance risk. For a clear view of the Kronos Cloud, visit Kronos.com. Kronos, workforce innovation that works. Cottonwood Place Senior Living. Your next beautiful home is waiting just for you. It's decorated so beautifully. It's warm, it's welcoming, and they take such good care of her. I have not met a staff member I didn't love and I didn't just know that they had dad's best interests at heart. I've had opportunities to work elsewhere, but this is where I want to be because it's home for them and it feels like home to me. Cottonwood Place Senior Living. Call now and ask about our monthly special, 801-947-7400. That's 801-947-7400. Call now. Call 254-5855. All right. Except that the number is 801-254-1640 if you're in the know. Okay, we're going to give uh, the audience five more minutes. Five minutes, that's it. And if you don't, if you haven't guessed what Tyler does in five minutes, you will not get an imaginary prize. <laughs> and it would have been a whopping good imaginary prize. Yeah. I'm, I've developed this to a high art, this imaginary prize thing. But uh, You can never be let down by an imaginary prize. Actually, it's, You can make it as good as you want it to be. And, and it's the thought that counts, right? Yes. I thought this up for you. You never would have thought this up. So here's your imaginary prize. Right. And I put the effort into thinking it up yeah. just for you. All right. So you're in Virginia with your new bride. And uh, um, I I got to say, behind a lot of people in life that fail, there is someone who is not supportive. <laughs> Right. You are a lucky man. Yes, I that do. You have a woman who was supportive enough that she would say, "Yeah, what the heck? I can live in Virginia." Right. I'll I'll even uh So anyway, you're there. Yeah. And uh you have made previously made the decision that you're going to terrifying school. Yes. yes. Right. You're, you're you're headed Oh, see? Here we go. Here we go. The lines are lighting up. People want to guess. All right. I, I, I'm, I think. I mean, I hope. People want to guess why Tyler is terrifying and get an imaginary prize. I did say five minutes, right? So yes. I got to check the clock. Okay. Uh, hi, you're on K-Talk. Are you guessing why Tyler is terrifying? Yeah, hey, I'm going to take a shot at it. Okay. All right. No, but, but I think that's probably even bad verbiage to say. But... Uh, is he a CIA agent? <laughs> Ooh, I like I like the guess. Good guess. Yeah. Really close. I definitely have to do some uh, really close. investigating. Yeah, FBI. I have to do some investigating, but not not in that not in that camp. FBI. Okay. Yeah. Both good guesses. FBI, yeah. CIA. All right, man. Uh, All right. I will I will have a terrifying person yeah. one Thursday that is from the CIA <laughs> and one from the FBI just for you, caller. All right. Except he'll probably say he's what I am because he's going to be undercover, the real CIA. Okay, so the real CIA agent. So well, we'll have to switch it up. What do we give this guy for an imaginary prize? Oh, man, I think he gets a tour of the Pentagon. <laughs> oh, seriously? Yeah. A trip to Washington. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Okay. I know this bar in Washington. I, I And on that table 
in that bar is your present, and it's an itinerary and an envelope full of tickets. <laughs> How's that for an imaginary present? <laughs> nice. All right, and those tickets will take you places in Washington that you and everybody else wants to go and a couple of places that nobody but you will get to go. You'll be escorted by, um, you know, well, we, we can't even tell you who will be escorting you. <laughs> but that's how, that's how I, much fun we can. One time yeah. when we lived in Virginia, actually, we got a tour of the White House. And my wife had had knee surgery, so she was in a wheelchair. So we got to go through the president's elevator. Ooh. in through his kitchen which was pretty neat you know and yeah. i don't think i even realized what i was doing until i just started wheeling this chair through you know because everybody else had to go through the main elevator yeah but a wheelchair uh, wouldn't fit through the room so we had to go around so i got to see all those fancy chefs okay. cutting up their nice dinner in there yeah okay we've we've got you covered with your imaginary yeah. prize yeah. you get to stop <laughs> in the president's kitchen yes if you, and yes. and sit down at a table complete with uh, glasses uh candle and about, if you if you don't what have about one of with ketchup, oh anything, <laughs> man. Gonna have that you can get ketchup in the Trump White <laughs> yeah. House. Oh, believe yeah. me, yeah. Yeah. it's uh, in all its forms. Anyway, if you don't have a beautiful companion with you, there will be one provided. Perfect. <laughs> no, I do. Okay. Well, we don't want to make her jealous, so we better add another ticket so okay. they both get to go. <laughs> all right. All right. Awesome. Imaginary prize has been awarded. Yeah. And thanks for the effort. Yes. All right. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah. All right. Tyler is terrifying, but not because he's in the uh, <laughs> F- FBI or the CIA. Yeah. But you, you, you could. I mean, okay. Maybe, yeah. maybe I should have. Maybe I should have mentioned is I was in Central Virginia. Central, so where I went to yeah. school, I wasn't anywhere near Washington. Yeah, and that yeah. might have maybe that was tipping people to. Well, that's a clue. To think you're giving that. a clue yeah. now. Yeah. I'm All giving, right. Yeah. That's that's what we're after. Yeah. You're giving yeah. a clue. All right. So, um, the, the first day at school, learning to be terrifying. There could be a clue in this. Yeah, you, we'll we'll see. You you. You've moved to Virginia. You got there at 2 a.m., scared away the crickets, yes. and, uh, ensconced your lady in her humid uh, <laughs> environs for the next hour long. And uh, you got up the next morning or a morning, a subsequent morning. You went to school for the first time. Uh, I assume you, you like, register and... Uh, Look at the orientation. Yeah. yeah, orientation. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I think we I think we got there maybe a week before orientation. Yeah, we, we actually bought a house, bought an old house to fix up, and uh, oh brother, we got there at two a.m. and there was no furniture, and <laughs> uh, so we just laid on the hardwood floor, and there were some dead bugs and crickets in there. Oh and, yeah, you know, oh. been vacant for a few weeks. And yes. No central air conditioning either, just a win- big window. Open air a window. Conditioner. Yeah. We had one of those window air conditioners yeah. installed in the front room, so we just threw a couple mattresses on the floor and yeah. made the best of it. You know? Made the best yeah. of it. Yeah. Hey, you know, with the right woman, that's freaking paradise. Right, man. yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's just free. It's just paradise. That's You're right. alone for the first time in your new home, yep. not starting with any baggage, not starting with much of anything, really. Just you get to start picking stuff and right. building. Okay, so you, off you go to school. You're at orientation. Did it ever hit? When did it actually? Okay, you went to orientation. You started going to classes. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm sure that they were tough. I'm sure they were. Oh, they they uh, left you exhausted yes. mentally when you came home, trying to memorize all kinds of acronyms and words. And oh, my I God. was I was the one terrified. Yeah, you know? its vocabulary is Cause, terrifying because I thought mentally it, it was going to be like the hardest thing I'd ever done. You yeah, know? yeah, and it was. So. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> pretty but, much. I mean, yeah. in my mind, it was harder than it actually was. You know, yeah. which is probably a good thing because then I was better. Prepared. You were trying. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're you're rolling along. How many years of this? This should be a clue. How many years of this did uh, you endure, this uh, school? Four. Four. four years. Yeah. So you've been to the University of Utah for yep. four years. Yeah. Now you're in Virginia learning to be terrifying for four years. Yes. <sighs> 
was it slow and draggy? Was it, uh, did you have some fun? Did you make some friends? Yeah. Did your relationship grow as you went to school? and Made some great friends. Uh, we, we lived in a really old part. Um, we were in Richmond. Maybe that's a clue. Richmond, Virginia. All yeah. Right. And uh, we're in a really old area that's had a kind of a, you know, up and coming change to it. Oh you know, yes, kind of like gentrifying. Yes. Kind of like sh- maybe Sugar House in this yeah, area was years ago. People moving in, taking yeah. the old houses, yeah. putting a little in. Yeah. yeah, really neat houses. You know, you oh, get your row house. Should we? We have a, a decision oh, to make go. here. Should we allow another yes. entry into the why? Because we really haven't revealed it yet. So <laughs> it's it's really kind of only fair. I mean, it seems like it's only fair that we should let at least ha- let another person take yeah, a right, stab at right. it. Okay. Uh, all right. Another green blinking light. Uh, higher on K Talk, you want to guess why Tyler is terrifying? Was he becoming a terrifying dentist? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Wow. Man, that was great. That is fantastic. How well, did well, you figure yeah. it out? Richmond, Virginia was the clue. You gave the clue, well, right? That's it. Yeah, okay. That's where all good dentists come from. Come from really seriously? Absolutely. That and floor shine shoes. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, well, I've I've got a pair of those. Uh, you only need one. <laughs> That's what <laughs> I've least, heard. Yeah, you you only need one pair of floor shimes. So I didn't know to, floor shimes came out of Virginia. I didn't either. Yeah, that's uh, that's what it says in the bottom of mine. <laughs> this smacks of somebody who may. Uh, are you ick in the biz? <laughs> are you terrifying too? Is that possible? Or are you just you're by cuspid? My oh. I think I think yeah. he I think he's a stereotypically terrifying person too, Tyler. Except, except sounds like he has better shoes than I do. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, do a couple of extractions, you'll get a, a another pair. There you go. All right. Okay, that's the key. Uh, All righty, guys. All right. Hey, thanks for thanks. calling. Hey, that, that, that was a, a good guess. <laughs> uh, he cheated a little bit, but. You well, think? well deserving. Well, I, I you can cheat as yeah, long as yeah. you get to the right well, he, place. He, he, it sounds I like think. he lived there, so that sounds fair. does it does that's sound fair. like he it, did so. his home, he did his research. So. so he he did his up close and personal I, research. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't cheating. Okay. Maybe he actually went the extra mile. Well, now that the, now that everybody knows you're terrifying because you're a dentist, <laughs> it's obvious you finished dental school. Yeah, and uh, you had the option. Of staying in, I guess, in Virginia? Yeah. Or coming back to Utah? Yes. How did that choice go? <laughs> well, I, I always wanted to come back to Utah. Um, all of our families out west. Yeah. Um, mostly in Utah. So, uh, you know, we actually... So, <clears throat> I mentioned we bought an old house there, and I, we left there in 2010, all right? So housing market was pretty low yeah but um we were in such an entry-level house that we were able to sell it for what for, we bought it for you know? yeah we lost yeah. a little bit of what we fixed put it in with. Yeah. yeah but um you know we ha- we also had a my son was almost two at the time yeah all right and so in traveling you know we'd come out here for christmas breaks and, yeah you know, summer breaks and stuff and traveling just seems so grueling because there's always a layover between oh yeah richmond and or, yeah. or we could drive up to dc and fly direct fly, you know? yeah so the travel was the big thing we kind of decided if we had a break we'd rather go visit somewhere different than spend a day in an airport you know right coming back home, so, so uh, and so there's family there's family. friends yeah there's Dry, uh, dr- less humidity well you know? may i point out <laughs> That uh, now, uh, may I point out that there's uh, also a wealth of opportunity in the state of the Union where sugar consumption, which takes us back to the sugar beet, yes, but uh, we're sh- we we are the highest consumer in Utah of of refined white sugar yes. in, in the nation. It's true. It is very true. Yeah, it, I think Boise is number two. Yeah, it's it's like, uh, and in my mind, in my world, 
refined white sugar is a drug. It fits every definition. Sure, it's absolutely. harmful. It's a, it's a highly addictive. It uh, causes all kinds of physiological problems, uh, including, I mean, you're just, people here bathe their teeth in sugar 24-7 just about. I mean, it's like the, the taste of the chocolate they ate before they went to bed right. is still lingering in their mouth <laughs> through the night. Yes. Because when you've eaten a piece of Godiva right. to lay down and linger in the afterglow of all <laughs> of that, ch- uh, you know, chocolate cannabinoids yes. and, and things like that, you're uh, you're basically nobody gets up after they or nobody brushes their teeth before they go to bed after they've consumed a late night piece of godiva right. snuck in sometimes <laughs> i've seen it happen yeah, yeah. i've More seen once you can hear if you're listening you can hear the you can hear the jar lid come <laughs> off you can hear the foil unwrap you can hear yes. it go back down you go mm-hmm, snake in the nightly chocolate piece okay i hear what's going on out there uh, the shadow knows you know but it's, I, I mean seriously even toothpaste Toothpaste tastes like, I I mean I, I um, tooth, toothpaste tastes like candy. They make I mean bubble gum flavored toothpaste right. for right. God, crying out loud. Yeah. I mean how do you get it to taste like bubble gum? You must have to put sugar in it. <laughs> right. I mean am, am I am I in the ballpark yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. Or, or lot you know there's usually a lot of artificial sweeteners in there. You know, but those are controversial too so well not in my world i don't touch them right i don't touch uh, aspartame gives me an instant headache and i can detect it if there's a molecule of it in there i can smell it it, taste it i can't believe it's like turpentine to me right it's just terrible stuff and i can spot it in a second but um so people people here are are uh just this this sugar addiction uh, is has filled Utah with an abundance of tooth problems. Yeah, you can't. I mean, you can't go to the grocery supermarket. You know, grocery. Yeah, store. really. The whole aisle is just full of Shasta, and then all the Coke products, and then yeah. all the root beers, and then all the Sprites. And all, you know? Oh man, I tell you. Yeah, I mean, I, I always tell my patients to be social drinkers. You know. Yeah. Have a soda on the weekend. You know to show off to your friends but it's the you know we're definitely daily soda drinkers around here some people are twice three times daily soda drinkers and uh it just uh i i i watch people at work pretty consistently with a 32 ounce something or other with bubbles and sugar in it and and the um i don't i don't know the the diet I we'll just skip that. But let's stick to the area where you're. Uh, let's go back to why you're terrifying. We've got a break coming. Can you hang for yeah. another twenty? Yeah. Okay. You gotta you gotta go take care of a sick daughter. But you know, will she be all right? Seriously. She'll be okay. We okay. got the medicine going today. All right. Yeah. Uh, so you can hang for another segment. Uh, make it a make it a complete hour. And and let, let's uh, maybe I can tell you a little bit of my story. Maybe people Great. have uh, questions they want to ask. Everybody has a question they'd read. Yeah. Hey, can you take a look at the? <laughs> right. You know, it's like yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. I uh, I can. Uh, yeah, just just yank your lip open here at the party and let everybody, you know. And I'll take a yeah. No, that's. But there are questions people have. I'm sure. And, uh, you know, who knows? Anyway, we'll talk after this break. Great. Tyler the Terrifying. <laughs> the Tooth Doctor. Yes, the Terrifying Tooth Doctor. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll be back. Sun's finally out, so get out there and enjoy. And don't forget to bring along the refreshing sound of K Talk Media, 1640 a.m. Hey, Fred, looks like he has some workers showing up. Yeah, I'm putting up a new Atlas Series garage by Brightspan. Oh, nice. 
I'm putting in a garage too. Gary the Garage Guy. He thinks he might possibly be able to start in the next few weeks, if he has time, as long as it's not too hot, too cold, or rainy. Should be done in less than a year, he thinks. But you know how contractors are. Oh, wow. That sounds like a headache. I just called Brightspan at 801-472-0428, set up a convenient time for me, and here they are, right on time. No hassle, no headache, and oh, looks like they're done. Well, Tim, I'm going to go try out my new garage. Good luck on your build. Brightspan, affordable buildings of all sizes, from a shed to warehouses, built in less than five hours and last 20 years. Call today, 801-472-0428, 801-472-0428. Okay, girls, about finished with your lesson on money. Daddy, what is a buy-sell spread for gold coins? Well, when you sell a gold coin to a coin shop that's worth, say, $1,200, you don't actually get $1,200. But don't worry, we're members of UPMA now, so we don't have to worry about that. Daddy, what if somebody steals our gold? We don't have any gold at the house. It's stored safely in the UPMA vault, securely and insured. But the S&P 500 outperformed gold. Daddy, gold is a bad investment. Some people do think of it that way, but actually, gold is money. And as members of the United Precious Metals Association, we can use our gold at any store, just like a credit card. Or I can ask them to drop it right into Mommy and Daddy's bank account, because we're a UPMA member family. Find out more at upma.org. That's upma.org. There's an Orange Opportunity sales event going on now at your local Kubota dealer. Get an M6 tractor with your choice of four models, all with Kubota clean diesel engines, IntelliShift transmissions, and more. Now get financing as low as 0% APR for up to 60 months or great customer instant rebates. Now through June 30th, 2017. Call toll-free 1-800-794-4992 for details about cost and terms. Visit Johnson Tractor or Bonneville Equipment or find your local Kubota dealer online at utahkubotadealers.com. Call now. Call 254-5855. All right, I'm back. Tyler, the terrifying, is back. Uh, I should should we call you Doctor Terrifying? Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> I might make a great Halloween costume. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, you're you're I I know it's hard not to be there. Your daughter's one year old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Almost, yeah. Yeah, I'd I'd be hovering too. Yeah, I would be. I appreciate you coming in. I'm glad I could be um, here. Yeah, it. Um, she's tough. She'll make it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she's uh, got a got a good mommy and a right. good daddy. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. Um, I one one of the one of the most terrifying things in the world is going into a stranger and and opening your mouth as wide as you can open it you can't see them anymore i mean you can try and peek around the edges you know they're they're tapping on things or they're touching things or they're looking it, it going to the dentist has got to be one of the most intimate things there yeah. is right i mean you just don't you just don't walk up to the average person and open your mouth wide and say hey do whatever you want <laughs> you know right. just get in there and hey can you you know that's i mean that's 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 there are a lot of people i mean we're talking about what terrifies people and i'm terrified i'll admit it i when i was uh I was extremely excited because uh, a girl I liked and her family, because that was the only way that in my world that you could get a girl you liked to, to um, <laughs> you know, come over and hang out for a while. The only way was for her family to come with her and go swim in the in the pool. So this girl I really liked and her whole family are are there. I'm in the bathhouse. I'm going, oh, man. You know, ah, wow! Ooh, 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 I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I got all dressed. I ran out. I jumped into the air to do this big fancy intro dive into the pool, 
and hit the other wow. side. And it was like, wow. wow, you know, just bang. And I'm laying there in the water because I'm a little bit stunned from yes. that impact. And I don't know exactly how I hit. It cut kind of the side of my nose. And I guess I turned my head at the last minute. Who knows? You never know when you do something like right. this. And uh, so I'm kind of groggy, and I open my eyes up, and I'm looking down. I'm floating in the water face down, and I'm watching my tooth circling in the water like a little white snowflake really headed down to the bottom and then i'm laying there and i'm a couple bubbles blow out and i'm watching my tooth as it slides down through the water and goes yip into the filter wow and i'm going goodbye all in slow motion goodbye oh yeah 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 so none of them had seen it none of them had seen it her parents didn't see my big dive. She didn't see my big dive. They were all looking the other way. But wow. I come bubbling up out of the water looking like I just got punched by Gene Fulmer. <laughs> you know? And it's like, they go, your tooth's gone. And I'm going, no kidding. Wow. So off I went. Now, that was, you know, that was my first experience sure. with a trip to the dentist is, oh, yeah. Well, we can hook you up with a nice, shiny, bright, gleaming, mirror-finished, stainless steel temporary tooth. Wow, yeah. Great way to, you know, you look so good in your high school pictures. You know, it's like, hi there. Hey, can you close your mouth? You're causing a lens flare. You know, that's like. But the radio station comes in stronger when you have those. Yeah, oh, you think? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so, well. Uh, so anyway, that that that's my first real memory of the dentist. I, I remember going in and having my wisdom teeth removed uh, after that, which was uh, they did all four impacted wisdom teeth. Yeah, I I, I'll put forget. it this way. It's not a day you forget. Yeah. And it's terrifying. You don't want to do it again ever. You, for a while, you brush your teeth like a maniac. You, you Morning, noon, night, you know, you're afraid to eat anything, you know. Right. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Yeah. They, they, you know. Like you, a chipmunk for a few yeah. days. Yeah. Well, you, you feel, I mean, your, your, your teeth aren't forever. And then you discover at some point in your life, you discover that dentists can make your teeth a little more like forever. There's all kinds. I mean. There's all kinds of things that they can do now. Yeah. That I mean, my gosh, you, you, your schooling, you're, you, you're just basically pretty new out of the out of the school, and a lot of the stuff you've learned, you're already studying the updates, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. People ask me all the time, you know, did you, did you learn this in school, and even in seven years, you know, most of the stuff I'm doing now, I'm saying, no, I, this is something else. This is a so how do you learn? How do you keep up? Because dental implants are in. There, there are, there are ways people now you can grow gums back down around teeth. There's just so many procedures that weren't there. You, you, you can go in. There are places I don't know if you're one of them. I uh, there there are places they'll take all your old teeth out and give you a set of fake teeth and, yeah. and they'll say, or I mean a whole set that right. you can chew with and they're. I don't know how they're anchored, but they're anchored. They're per mm-hmm. they're strong, you know. I, I know people who have them, clear, yeah. uh, that that are think it's great. I can right. eat apples again, you yeah. know. It's, yeah. I can chew steak, you know. It's like oh, cool. And uh, people like my dazzling new smile, you know, right. all that kind of stuff. And uh, and and there are so many ways. I mean, back in the day, they used to correct the position of teeth with wires and crank on you and this and that and the other. Now they now there are these little plastic things they send you in the mail and you put them in and they gradually adjust your mm-hmm. teeth and I mean there we live in a world of dental wonders. Yeah. How do you keep up? Do the you internet. go to seminars? Inter- yeah, oh yeah, seminars. Um I mean it's so it's so nice now because you can go to a seminar and then you can replay what you've learned or rewatch it, you know, and so many good 
online resources. So do the products, as a new product comes out, do the do the manufacturers train you? I mean, is that part of the uh, part of to get you to try? Well, like Invisalign, for example, yeah. can you? contact them and say i'm a dentist and you know i'd like to learn how to use your product and they'll send you a video or ha- invite you out to a school or a training session how does that well, that's why i moved uh, yeah that's really why i moved back by my family so i can try it out on them you know yeah make sure it works <laughs> you use your family yeah. as guinea pigs <laughs> okay i mean i well first off first i have someone try it on me yeah. And then if it's okay, then I'll go to then family. Then you try family. And then if it's okay on family, then I'll go to my patients. Well, yeah. you know, if you ever get really desperate, try it on a radio host. Okay. <laughs> all, right. all right. Fair enough. Well, we all, I mean, the dentist, just quickly, the, the listeners remember this. I was gone all of a sudden. for I was in the hospital for nine days with blood poisoning. And uh, it, it, the, 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 the abscess that build up underneath my jaw i looked like i had a goiter uh, <laughs> you yeah. know it was yeah. it was really bad i couldn't eat i had nothing to eat for tw- uh, or or drink I, it got so bad i couldn't even drink i couldn't get a straw in between i couldn't open my teeth enough to get a straw in there yeah. and have a sip of water i couldn't swallow a pill i went uh, i went um 11 days without anything to eat or drink wow <coughs> and then, I can't go 11 minutes. And then imagine. came the 12th day. Right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm on my way down here to do the radio show, and uh, I, I face-planted on the, on the concrete Ooh. after I walked in the door over at Smith's, all because I'm terrified of coming to someone yeah. like you yeah. who, within less than an hour, could have... Completely eliminated the problem. If, uh, you know, so I'm terrified of you, and I, I probably always will be. Sure. And there are a lot of people out there that are terrified of the dentist. How do you, we've got like three or four minutes left, and then you've got to go take care of the sick offspring and yes. be an attentive hovering <laughs> husband. You know, <laughs> hopefully nice dinner. Oh, yes. she, is she a yeah. good cook? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. yeah, knockout. Oh, lucky you. Yeah. I mean, I'm headed to whichever fast food joint is open <laughs> after midnight. You know, it's like not fourth meal, as cool. Fourth meal time. You know, I do that once or twice a week. Yeah. It's like the, you can do burritos, 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 and then burgers, or you know, every once in a while, right. uh, some veggies at the subway. But it's pretty limited. Yeah. But anyway, uh, how do you? How do you? I, if somebody comes into you and says, "Tyler, you're not terrifying, but I'm terrified." How do you? How do you put them at ease? Yeah. How do you do that? Well. You know, so many adults have said the exact same thing you told me. If You know, there's that one experience. It's not always one. It's not only, only happened that once, chain, but there's, but there's one experience. memory yeah. that someone never forgets. You know, oh, and it yeah. might have happened 30 years ago. You know, I have patients tell me 60 years ago. It might even have been, you know, six months ago. But, uh, you know, the 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 old school way of doing it, um, there just wasn't as much technology available. So, like, the dentistry, I see dentistry all the time that's 40, 50 years old, and it's incredibly well done. But the, the you know, the different ways we have to calm people down now is so much better. And when one, the way to change it is when somebody has one incredibly great experience, they'll remember that, and that can flush out that. That it can. Yeah. It can. Yeah. And and you know what comes in instead? Absolute trust. Right. You you when you have trust for your dentist, you want that's that's your dentist. I mean, it's not like you go, Oh, well, he was okay, but I you know, I like this guy better. No. When you find somebody and you're comfortable with them, there's there's um it it's it's it it's easier to get over being terrified yeah it's like 
Now, uh, like I said, we're pretty close to out of time. We haven't even told people. I mean, you know, you're just an interesting guy. So I talk to interesting people, and it, it's been fun. I'm, I'm trying to break the stereotype. Yeah, you know? really. Everybody no thinks kidding. dentists are boring. You yeah, know, well, so. I think you broke it. Yeah, right. you, you busted through that stereotype. But we yeah, give people some contact information so that they, uh, if you want, yeah, you're yeah. welcome to. I mean, I appreciate your time, but. Yeah, great. So I've got a website um, that's designed for people who have questions, okay? So there's a lot of us who are fearful, and we're not quite ready, okay? So this is, if that's you, you can go to smile-confidently.com. So that's the word smile hyphen the word confidently.com, all right? You can download a, a free report and watch a video on seven key things to make your dental experience better, all right? Hmm. Uh, or you can call me at 801-512-2987, all right? And, and there's a lot of newer ways that we can help people feel more relaxed, that's very safe. And it, we're all, we also have a lot of um, photographs and pictures. We use intraoral cameras all the time. So this isn't an x-ray. We still use those, but it's actually a camera so I can show people. And I find with a lot of people that takes the fear out of it because it's very transparent. They can see what I see and, and we're on the same Oh, that way. would be actually kind of intriguing. Yeah. That would replace yeah. the fear within, with interest, which is uh, right. fantastic. Well, go take care of your daughter. Hey, thanks for having me Thanks on. for taking yeah. some time. I hope you'll come back at I'd some point to. in the future. You're, yeah. you're a funny guy. <laughs> and uh, it, it was a lot of uh, – uh, 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 there's just so many questions that I hope we get a, a, another chance. Anyway, yeah, thanks great. thanks for tonight, man. Yeah, thank you. All right, get home safe. Okay, we'll see you soon. All right, and uh, I will be back and uh, interested in talking to you about whatever's on your mind. Um, it uh, if, if you want to call this terrifying thing.